Pastor David here, I got another video for you today. Pay attention, guys. Pay attention. You are going to get a lot out of this video. I promise you. So pay attention. Okay, now let's go right into the video. Okay? Name of the video is Using a Bat for Defense in the Street. Now, this is what happens. This scares the hell out of people when someone is swinging a baseball bat across their face. Scares the hell out of people. Most people don't have a clue of what to do. But I want you to watch this video and then after you watch this video, listen, listen carefully to every word this instructor said, and he's good. He's good, he's talented, he knows his stuff, got a lot of information out there. But I want to clearly get you to understand the difference between us and what we're doing on this channel and other people. So watch this video. When it comes to dealing with a baseball bat, obviously if you can run away, run. When he swings at your head, take that step back, move out of the way. If your rear foot is planted and you're safe, if he steps in and I step in, this is exactly where we want to be. This over here is going to hurt a lot. Here's going to hurt. This is going to hurt less. Immediately go into a snaking position where the arm is going over top. Thank you, Filipino martial arts. Bring that in and hold it tight. You might not get a disarm here. So as long as you trust your grip, put that hand on the face, start pushing away, dig it into the eyes, do whatever. All you're trying to do is buy time. So then you can run away to safety. Stay safe out there. Okay. Now you've seen the video, right? Technique, good technique, solid technique. What was wrong with the technique? Was anything wrong with the technique? All depends who you ask. And it all depends what system you are working with. Guys, I told you before, everybody's kicking and punching. Everyone's kicking and punching, okay? And they're showing you self-defense videos. What makes the difference is the principles and the concept, the mindset, the mindset training that goes into what you are learning. The mindset training is important. We call it personal development. It's mindset training. You have to work on the way you think before you operate a technique because the skill set depends on the mindset. So I don't care what skills you have, if your thinking is a certain way, you can still do something that is gonna cause you to be in harm's way or cause you to work harder. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Guys, we need you to subscribe. 70% of you are not subscribed yet. Do it. So he said, when the man swings the bat, you step back like this and you enter. And he made it a, a point to say, he made it a point to say, don't enter here, because obviously it'll hurt. You can enter here, right? And he said, you'll feel a lot of, you'll still feel it, or you can enter here. Now, once again, have you not watched any of my videos? Have you not listened to the language of any of my videos? What did I say to you? I said, at the end of a baseball bat is power. Power. You want to automatically, because of how I'm training you to think, Forget about trying to block the bat because obviously the bat is harder than your arms. I told you, go after what's holding the bat. That is the difference between power and pressure. So what am I talking about? So doing the same technique, if I went here, I'm just dealing with the pressure of his arms. Nothing more, I want you to get this on this angle. Nothing more, nothing less. So if Kenny push, push, he's pushing with pressure. Push, yep. Your pressure's pushing. So if it's full swing and I'm here, even if I don't know what to do, I'm getting pressure. Again, even if he pushes me, it's pressure. It's not power and I'm not feeling pain. I'm unbalanced. My heart is still pumping, I'm nervous, but I didn't get hurt. And the clue is, and the thing is, not to get hurt yet. So, I can still operate. I don't want to use the word fight because I'm not fighting against a baseball bat. I can still operate. 
Now, once again, pay close attention. This is where the learning is. Once again, swung the back and step back into this thing. Then he said, wrap the arm around. Thank you, Filipino martial arts. Wrap the arm around, then he locked the arm in, then he came off the lock. He said, it might be hard to disarm here. Let me be perfectly clear with you guys. If you get into a situation where some raven knucklehead is swinging a baseball bat at you, the last thing in your damn mind should be disarming. Unless you put a lot of hours in, a lot of training in, and you are really, really good and really, really confident. Once again, it goes back to mindset and skill set. Because how would I have the skill set to disarm if I didn't put a lot of training in, right? How could I do that? If I only train once a week, every maybe twice a week for an hour, do you think I got the skill set? No. To go after and disarm a guy swinging a bat at full speed with a lot of pressure not try and rage? Nope. No. No, you don't. Now, in order to even whip off a disarm, what does my mindset got to be? What does my belief have to be? I have to believe, man, I am so damn good. I put so much time in. I put so much work in. I've done that so many times over and over and over. I, without an ounce of hesitation and an ounce of doubt, an ounce of doubt, I can, I can pull that off. But really, would you not have an ounce of doubt when it's a complete raging stranger? Maybe some guy, some lunatic, maybe you've seen him take that back and open somebody's head over there and now it's your turn, now he's coming for you after he just busted that guy's head open? Mindset training, skill set training. Now, now, keep it moving. Back to the video, right? Now, why, when he did this and this, why did that technique work? Why? Did it say why? Lock it up, attack the face, right? Move backwards and get the hell out. Okay, cool. Okay, and all, for all intents and purposes, good technique. He can definitely get that off. He can get it off. Because he has enough timing, enough training, enough belief, enough skill in what he's doing. He can definitely get, get that off. But can you get that off? See, one thing he left out, which was this. Make sure you get my feet and everything in the kitchen. Okay, now... Me and you are having a discussion, right, Kenny? You don't like what I'm saying. You're going to bash my head and open with the bat, right? Mm -hmm. Am I thinking about what leg I'm going to step back with? No, no. When you Nobody swing that back from my right. face after I said something that you don't like. You ain't thinking about your face. Am I thinking about did I step back with the right or do I step back with the left? Oh, let me show you why it makes a difference. And let me show you why. This is why you're here. This is why you're listening to us. This is why our channel makes a difference. This is why we're different from everybody else. Hey guys, Professor David here. There's a brand new way for you to contact us, guys. All you gotta do is call 718-252-8944 and leave a message. Don't forget, we have our coaching. We have our online weekly training. We have seminars, we're available for that. You have a university where there's 2,000 techniques in there. Now let's get back to the video. Because we're telling you this. If I step back the way he said, and the guy said, I can easily do this. I feel super comfortable. I'm in on an angle on a V because I went back like this and in like this, which positioned me perfectly to align with this and this to do, to do that particular strike. But if I step back with the right and not step back, with the left. Watch. Same technique. Watch. This and this. Now look at my body mechanics. Look at the body mechanics. You hear me talk about it all the time. Now I still got the hand. 
I still got the hand, but look where this leg is. I might back. Come around the other side, please. When I step forward, my back is catching the strike. Because I can't, I can't do, move, 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 move wait for a second. Well, stay there. Watch. I can't do this. Watch my footwork. I can't do this and then this to block and then rack. Look at the body. Look at the body mechanics. To, in order to feel comfortable, it has to be this and this. And now, Kenny, come back in here. Now, if I did this, look. I'm off balance and my back is to the man. Oh, but don't you think you should have told us that? Because I'm gonna watch the video because I like you. I'm gonna watch the video because you're a black belt. You got lots of videos out there, lots of likes, lots of views. Everybody says how good you are, right? And how good the system is, right? So everybody's like, yeah, that's a good technique. I'm gonna use that technique. That guy's good, that guy's good. So let me use it. Except that guy did not tell you that it makes a difference if you step back with the right or the left. Didn't mention it. So now when you step back with the right, now you're screwed. Because if Kenny came hard, now I'm screwed. I'm like this, even though I held on, I'm like this. Don't believe me? Try it for yourself. Okay? That's what makes the difference in our system from everybody else. I teach you the techniques inside the techniques. That's why on my Sunday, I go live every Sunday. On my Sunday Zoom call, live show, I go every Sunday. I'm always talking to the people about the techniques inside the techniques. I'm always showing them techniques inside the techniques. I'm breaking it down for them. Because nobody breaks it down. Ask all my people who study with me. That's what I do that other people don't do. Now, let me show you the same technique the V artist just so way. Okay? Now, man swings the back. I'm not doing this to do this. I'm not. Switch backs, Kenny. Now, Kenny got a phone back for safety reasons. He's not going to swing fast. He's going to go this way and that way. I want to show you how, how hard it is. Mm -hmm. so how, how many seconds do you have? Don't take my word for it. How many seconds do you have for this to this? How many seconds do you have? Man. <laughs> it's kind of tight. Real tight. It's kind of tight. So now, somebody's swinging about at me. Pay attention. This to do this. Seconds are tight. Right? Once again, please. Boom. Mm. V-stepping. 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 Because I go with the pressure. I go in the direction of the swing. Look where my hand is. Go on the other side. Look where my hand is. My hand is over the arms. So he's swinging in. My hand is over this. All I have to do is keep moving forward. Bang! Kenny's whole face, bang on the ground. On the ground, slow motion. Instead of doing this and this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Hey! V-stepping, face, mm -hmm. neck, take down. And now, because he's like this way and that way, so now, my adrenaline is flowing, right? So watch this again. Instead of this and this, and start jerking around with this and try to disarm, watch. Go around in your circles. Watch, watch the footwork. I'm gonna start out the same way, except I'm doing this. V step, watch, watch. I'm gonna let it swing, same way. V stepping, V stepping. Once again, my arms are here, here. I'm not jerking around here. I don't give a damn about disarming. 
And I'm a Filipino martial artist. Professor Florendo visitation. Filipino martial arts, that's what I do. So I'm not. Go this way. This way, and this, I'm not trying to do a diss song. I'm trying to take his frigid head off his body because he's trying to bust my head open with a goddamn baseball bat. So the least I should do is take his head off. Whoa! With a baseball bat. My fault. And that, my friends, doesn't take martial arts practice. But nobody told you that. So I hope you got something from this video. Watch it again and watch it again and understand why I am passionate and I'm always so damn amped up to give you this kind of information and make the videos the way I make the videos because no one tells you the technique inside the technique. Everyone wants to show you how goddamn good they are. How good they are. But they're not gonna be with you in the street when you're getting your behind kick. You are gonna be with you. And you need practical, simple, good, useful information that is easy to do. What you learn today, you can use today. One, two, three, hit. That's what we do. Guys, I guarantee you, if you go on social media right now, look at baseball bat attacks, you'll see thousands of them. And when you study them, guys, come back to this video and see what could be done differently on those videos. Now you're educated, now you got what you need in order to shut that down. You have the technique inside the technique. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell and share our videos, guys. Share, 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 share. We'll always, guys, see you in the next one. Thank you very much, peace.